as Madden 16 is winding down, this is my second to last draft champions video. I accidentally didn't record the draft, so here we did get Demarius Thomas, Brandon Cooks, Ryan Matthews. I didn't get a quarterback. My offensive line sucks. All I got was the Brickershaw Ferguson, and I had to use my left tackles, my tackles as guards, and Eric Flowers as my center. And I also got Jared Cook. Defense is all right. We got two good corners, Vince Wilfork. Barry Church, Clay Matthews, Lawrence Timmons, and Dante Whitner. My defense is alright. So these are my kick returners. I do have Brandon Cooks as my kick returner because he's fast as hell. So now we're going to get into the gameplay. This is my second to last game. This is actually a friendly draft, by the way. Playing against my man, Steven. A.K.A. Visual Steven. A.K.A. Moon's Childs. You guys want to follow him on Twitter? His at is Visual Steven. Uh, he's one. Of, he's one of those. Um, he's a good guy. One of one of those people I know. I don't know how to. I really got nothing to say. He's really a cool guy that I like to play a lot in on PS4. Like I, I play him a lot. We've won. We've won some good games. I've won some good games against him. I've won some bad ones against him. So we're pretty much on and off. One of my favorite opponents to play against. He's a cool guy too, despite. He's a cool guy for a Patriots fan. As apparently this game didn't get off to a good, this game wasn't off to a good start because apparently he got this game being so stupid, giving him all these face catches. This, this is the thing I didn't like facing him, man. He gets all these lucky ass face catches, like those aggressive catches, whatever. But nonetheless, he's a cool guy, man. As oh my God, Aaron Ross, the former New York Giant, drops an easy pick. So that's gonna force him to kick a field goal in here. Uh, my next two games are going to be against, this game and the next game will be against him. Uh, make sure you guys go follow him on Twitter, it's Visual Steven again. And if you guys want to send him a friend request, it's Moon's Childs. We do play a lot of 2K as well. We do a lot of My Park and Pro-Am. And yeah, he's a really cool guy, man. For a Patriots fan. I think he's one of my favorite Patriots fans on Twitter. I mean, I can't really... Say nothing bad about Patriots fans. There's a lot of good Patriots fans I know. I see a three out of four. You're gonna find Jared Cook and look at Jared Cook outrunning the defender. And Jared Cook is off to the races into the end zone for the touchdown. As we take the lead here, and Tom Brady is gonna get sacked by Keith Rivers. Look at that. A former Giant getting the sack. Second down, 21. <laughs> Interception with Dante Whitner. We gotta get smacked on the first place. Second down ten. We gotta find Demarius Thomas here. Won't gain much. Third down four. I made a big mistake right here. I passed to Jared Cook, but I had triangle wide open. So because of that mistake, we had to kick the field goal instead of driving down for a touchdown. Probably would have been like an 11 point game. Haven't I found uh, triangle? As you see, you do come up with the pass. Pass rush comes up, pressuring Tom Brady. But second down and ten here, he does find Christian Michael for the first down. So this, yeah, this is my second to last um draft champions gameplay. Is oh my god, we got lucky on that play. Otherwise, that would have been a first down. As you get the stop on fourth down, he goes for his. So we have an opportunity to put points on the board here. But all of a sudden, I make a mistake. I had a square open, so then I dump it down to Ryan Matthews, and he's going to fumble the football, and that's going to cost me points, man. As, jeez, really, like, he gets all these aggressive catches, like, come on. But Ryan Matthews just, I guess he single-handedly costing me points, because what if that comes back to haunt me, man, you know? Because instead of giving him more pressure, we just gave him life, basically. He's 3 out of 9. He runs the football and still gets the first down. Like, come on, man. As Mr. Tackles there, and then check this out. How did these two dudes not tackle him? Like, come on. I don't know how he got away from Revis and some other dude. As you see, Deuce in the blitz. I thought he was going to run. But Tremaine Johnson gets the sack as he throws a tight window pass to Julio Jones there. Third down and 10 here. Tom Brady here. He's going to throw it in the end zone, but Barry Church drops the interception. He has to take another field goal, so low scoring affair so far against my man Steven. 
Uh, now we go into the third quarter. I haven't really done much on offense ever since that Jared Cook touchdown. Just imagine Jared Cook with Aaron Rodgers throwing his way now. That's gonna be, that's gonna be deadly, man. Just check this out here. So apparently he can get aggressive catches. Yet I can't. Oh God, I love EAs. I should have thrown to Demarius Thomas. I had him open. Instead, I tried to go for a face catch, and that's gonna cost me because three down and ten here. Try to go to Jared Cook, but it's incomplete. And that's a big three and out for him. That's gonna because of my idiocy. As look at that. Good special teams play right there. Should have called a fair catch. That's first step. Come on, man. I had Darrell Revis on him. I'm like, EA, please. As Dante Whitner gets the big tackle there. Here's a story, actually. Uh, as he gets a face catch there. So, two year, two to three years ago, as I should have stayed on my man. Uh, they did this thing called Super Bowl Boulevard in Times Square. Square, because you know the Super Bowl. For Super Bowl 48 was in New York, New Jersey. You get the point. I went there, and they were doing autographs, and I actually got my badge autographed by Dante Winner. I actually met him at Super Bowl Boulevard. Uh, that's one of my favorite moments. I'm. I actually met a NFL player. I met Dante Whitner. My mom wanted to get a picture of him, but she couldn't. But at least I got my badge signed. It's up on Instagram if you guys want to see it. Follow me on Instagram too. It's OGDC Yankee. Uh, as you see, we're running here with Brian Matthews trying to get the first down. Now all of a sudden, pressure's on us now because we have to play smart and try to either tie the game up or take the lead. Because he scores a touchdown with Tom Brady on the quarterback sneak. So now we're going to have to play smart. It's 3 out of 6 here. Both of these dudes were open, but. I throw to Ryan Matthews, but he doesn't get me the first down, so we go for it and get it with my fullback. First down and 10 here. We just dump it to Jared Cook, but he only gets a yard when he had all that wide open field as we find Ryan Matthews here. Ryan Matthews making up for that fumble, so now that I think about it, that fumble is going to cost me now. It's costing me the game. It just cost me. Ryan Matthews just single handedly cost me the game because you know, that fumble. Otherwise, I wouldn't be down by three. I wouldn't be in this situation right now if he didn't fumble. But that's going to cost me. I had to do wide open for a touchdown. But I throw it to Jared Cook here. First down and ten here. He, here's Jimmy Garoppolo. Look at Jimmy G. Jimmy G taking off. And Jimmy G is going to get out of bounds. Second down three. Run in here. But Ryan Matthews is going to get stuffed. Three down four here. Actually, had circle wide open. But then... Here I am scrambling with Jimmy G and he almost throws an interception. But we're gonna have to take a field goal. But now it's desperation time for us. Gotta get a stop here. And we gotta stop here and drive down the field. We can win this game. But first, you gotta get this defense to stop, man. It's second down to 10. He runs PA end around. And he's gonna find Christian Michael here for the first down. As first down to 10, he runs it with Christian Michael, but he's gonna get taken down by Clay Matthews. As second down to 13, he's gonna find. I have no idea who that is. I don't know who he finds on that play. Three out of five here. He goes downfield, and he finds I think uh, Philly Brown, Corey Brown, whatever his name is. As he's gonna find Vernon Davis here, and now he's gonna win the game pretty much because he's in field goal range. But my dude drops an interception right here. This game would have went to overtime. Instead, he finds Philly Brown in the end zone for the touchdown, and we lose the game. So good game to my man Steven. Um, make sure you guys go follow him on Twitter and add him on PS4. But this is really a heart heartbreaker for me, man. I had an opportunity to put this game away. Many opportunities instead, I blow it. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the good stuff for my second and last Draft Champions games. So do all that good stuff, and yeah, I'm out.